guys welcome to the channel my name is Claire and this is Polly put the pedal on and it's lovely to see you I've, t I've had a sabbatical and yeah I, I'm, I'm back now and today's video is a car boot haul there's a couple of charity shop bits in there as well but yeah we're gonna do I'm gonna do this first for those of you that have joined me just for the for the car boot haul um, and then we can have a little chat and, and uh, a little update on stuff um, because some of you will know why I've been away and some of you won't. Um, so yeah, those that just want to be here for the haul, we'll, we'll do the haul. And then, you know, if you want to stick around later on, we'll, we'll just have a little natter. Right, okay. So, um, do you know, our car boots have been suffering with the weather, you know. Um, and so they've not been as great and they've not been as full. And we normally have big car boots. So, um but we've managed to pick a few bits up and a few good bits too. Um, now I picked this up from a charity shop, but some time ago, um, and it's polyester, polyester. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Welcome back. Um, it's polyester, polyester craft filling for toys and cushions. And it's just wadding really. It's just wadding, you know, out of, well, it says out of cushion. Um, for some crafts that I do and so I picked up that and that was two pounds and I thought that was really good um, it's, it, it's British made too um, I'll, I'll go another charity shop actually and I picked up this um, little fairy globe now I think she might have been a musical but I can't work out because there's something going on on the bottom there. There's like a screw maybe that you'd put a winder on. I'll, I'll have to try it. Um, and then there's a hole, hole there. Um, but uh, you see those details? You've got a train, candle, star, teddy bear, garland, um, baubles. It's very, very pretty. And I, ju I was just taken with it. So I've picked that up and £3 I paid for that. Yeah, and she's just a cute little fairy in a um, in a snow globe, but it's glitter and not snow. Um, at the car, whoopsie! At the car boot, I picked this up for fifty pence. It's Mrs. Hinch, Hinch yourself happy. I'm not sure whether. I mean, I flipped through it, and I even said to the to the young lady, "I've not tried. I've not, you know, I've not sat down with it. It's been in this. It's been in this um, pink truck. I take my pink truck with me." to the car boot um, and I said to the young lady I said did you did you even read this and she said no she said in fact half of those books down there she said I didn't read and then we saw her a couple of hours later in the charity shop bringing everything to the charity shop because she certainly didn't want to do another car boot but anyway I picked up the uh, Mrs Hinch book Hinch Yourself Happy and I thought I'd give it a I thought I'd give it a little look just a little look it was 50 pence um, and if not, if you know, if I've got no use for it, I will put it into uh, the charity in town. I picked up this frame. Now, I absolutely love frames like this. I really, really do. And I was shocked and surprised because he had quite a lot on his on his um, on his stall, you know, on his out of his car boot. Um, and I picked this up and I picked it up for two pounds. And it's just a frame. Now, it's got a little bit. Now, it's not chipped actually it is slightly chipped but i'll be able to put a little bit of gold leaf on there or something you know to so it it won't be able to be seen but i've got an idea for this in in particular um and i like i say i do love frames like this there's something stamped on the back it's an 8 by 10 and it was made in taiwan <laughs> so yeah it's just a nice ornate frame isn't it don't you think i really like it um yeah and then i picked up this artichoke um and it's a, a tea light holder now i thought to myself oh yeah i've because i've only got one from b m and i think i paid five pounds for it this i paid two for but when i actually held up the b m one to it the b m one is is quite some smaller compared to this so that's quite nice really you know it's still a pair but it's a it's a graduated pair if you like um i just really like these 
I think they're really nice. So yeah, two pounds I paid for that. The lady said, she had quite a few of them on a stall and she said, oh, these have been going quite well. And I thought, yeah, because they're a fiver in um, B&M's. Um, and <laughs> now I picked up these because, you know, I like things that remind me of my childhood and these do. Do you remember these? <laughs> Does anybody, did any, anybody have any of these? You know, where you stood on them and you held the, held on to these and walked. It felt like you were on stilts. Well, they were, they were, they were they were stilts, weren't they? I think these are early learning centre. They're not from the 70s, surely, I know. Um, my daughter's had a little blast of them. You know, I did try to stand on them, but I thought they might break. So, yeah, but picked them up just to say, they were 50p. And I thought, I really, really loved those. When I, I think mine were yellow. Oh, I can't, can't quite make my mind up whether they were yellow or blue, but I do think they were yellow. Um these are red as you can see and i just thought aren't they aren't they fun you know and like i say my daughter's had a little blast of them and she thoroughly enjoyed it and <laughs> she's 21 um so yeah pick them up for 50 pounds i don't know what i'm going to do with them now you know um i really don't but um I might give them you know i've got little children um either side of me so i might say do you want those <clears throat> right um I've picked up these because I've been after tall candlesticks without wanting to pay a, a tall price, really. Um, I think I might do in the end, but I'm going to I'm going to spray paint these. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I got these for 50 pence each. Because they're not that tall, really, so I think I will look for some more either on the car boot or the charity shops or indeed i will you know get myself some but i've been looking for these um for quite some time since christmas actually because i always have candles but they're normally the chubby ones you know the um pillar candles and so i've got pillar candle holders if you like so yeah it'd be nice because i've got dinner candles down here and it'd be nice to have, you know, quite a nice contrast. Plus, it'd be a smaller base for the width of my mantelpiece. So, yeah, it'd be quite nice to have a little, um, you know, taper candle, dinner candle. So, I'll pick those up, 50 pence each. And like I say, I'm going to spray them. Right, so then the next thing I picked up, it wasn't the next thing because these were two car boots, two charity shops um i picked up now i'm using this already but what it is and i got this for six pounds and i thought that is a steal i got my last one for uh, for a fiver as well but this this is like a set and it's a davina mccall mat i looked online and on very um they are 24 pounds then on Amazon, I think the £14, I paid six, so I still paid, it didn't matter whether it was 14 or whether it's 24, I've still made a saving. Um, and it's a Davina McCall yoga set. Um, like I say, I'm using the mat now. I've used this block once. Lovely colour, the mat's a lovely colour too. I don't know whether I can... And it's, you know, it's got Davina signature on the, on the bottom, you know, on the um, foot of the mat just like that like that Davina on there it's on the foot of the mat as well so yeah got a yoga block and I got a yoga mat and it was only six pounds so that was a bargain um and he was there last week and I'm thinking to myself and he, with he's got another set with a ball and I'm thinking to myself I might get that as well because like I say you know it's nice to switch your mats out and stuff um and I already have um i already had one mat but i was slipping in in certain um poses and so um this one i don't slip on it because it's it's kind of textured so that was six pounds and i thought that was great um then what have i got oh these and these are the last things and then we'll have a little chat and then um 
I'll bid you farewell. Um, yeah, so I picked up these lovely magnolias, brand new. These were just a pound. Now they're marked up at £2.39 each. They're really nice. Yeah, and I've picked up three and they I paid just a pound each. Um, and they're by a company called Sharps, Sharps with an E. Um, the same fella was selling these, so I, yeah, went to town with them. Um, these sweet peas, because he was selling them four for a pound. Um, the price on these is 59 pence each. Um, so I, how many bunches did I get? So I picked up one, two, three, four. Um, they're very pretty. They're, they're, they are, they are nice. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to put a couple in those two vases there, but obviously I'll put the rest down in my stash in the petal shed, which incidentally needs a good clear out. Um, Kim's going to help me clear that out. Uh, what it is, is and I now want to, I've got my coffee table in there that I've had in there for quite some time. Um, Alfie loved um, the rug to be free so I, uh, we took the coffee table down into the petal shed it's a lovely coffee table it's solid wood um, and we took it down into the petal shed um, because not only that it was banging his head and so we put it down there and then we fetched it out a couple of summers ago and we had it in the garden but then of course it when it was raining we had to take it back in so it's down in the petal shed and I'm gonna clear out my petal shed and bring it back up here so yeah uh, um also from the same fella i picked up these now these haven't got a price on them but i can imagine these are going to be about five pound six pound maybe even seven pound a bunch if they were coming off trevor green they'd be about nine pound a bunch you know nine pound for the plant and it's this ivy as you can see variegated ivy <coughs> with the two with the two different um tones really really nice quality um, and again it's by Sharps I haven't got a price on it but I picked them up for £2 each which is fabulous so I've got those to go in my in my um, petal shed stash as well so yeah um, my mum's put a couple of orders in with me and so um, I must be getting those done soon as well so we'll we'll be doing some crafting soon guys if you if you're gonna if you're gonna be sticker sticking around um if you are new to the channel and if you are new to the channel and you know you haven't subscribed it'd be great if you did you know um the more the merrier here um and we do we do all sorts and we have a little laugh along the way you know we do wreath making floristry um try-ons food um i'm behind on my food as well aren't i um, but let's have a catch up, shall we? Because that is all of the haul, if, if any of you were here just for that. You know, we do hauls as well. I was getting to that. Um, so that's all of that. this haul. Um, but there will be um, a couple of others coming up. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I know some of you know, but not everybody and uh, will know because um, not a lot of you have got community the community post but i did post on the community tab that um we lost our little alfie um it'll be two weeks on friday um and i didn't want to just disappear and leave you guessing um and that's why i posted on the community on the community tab um but yeah we lost our little alfie um through old age and um there's there's that thing you know i found comfort in this actually paul o'grady said you know, when you take a when you take a um, an animal into your life, it's ine it's inevitable, isn't it, that um, there'll be heartbreak, you know, somewhere along the line. Um, but you don't think of the you don't think of the hangover when you're at the party. And how true is that? Um, so yeah, he he it was old age, and he just I, I I also think he waited until we were all together. You know, my son was back from university. Um, because he, he started, um, not wanting his food. He was wanting it, you know, but then he couldn't eat it. He'd eat so much and then he couldn't eat it and he'd lost a hell of a lot of weight. 
and we ch we were messing up we thought oh he's been down the bottom of the garden underneath the apple tree and you know he's eating because he was a bugger for eating stuff from underneath there you know sticks and all sorts and then you'd see it come out one end or the other and so we thought that's what it was anyway um but then we thought no you know he's definitely off these biscuits now because he had a, he was a dry food dog and um so we we started mixing meat in with his biscuits and for a short time you know it helped um and then he went right off he was picking the biscuits out and i thought is it his teeth you know you, you try and guess don't you and you know your own dog they're family members aren't they you know they're like you they're like your children uh they just can't speak and tell you basically so then we knocked the biscuits off and gate was we were just giving him meat and i let me tell you the day he passed away i had that much different that many different brands of dog food you know dog meat and stuff treats and all sorts trying to coax him to eat but it got to the point where he did he did eat it he'd wolf it down um and then that trailed off so i thought it, it's this is a vet's job this you know I, I looked at his back end and i just thought he he just looks emaciated so I, t I took him I took him up to the vets on the Thursday and um, you know she said we can do uh, one of three things uh, you know we could um, give him give him a blood test um, give him she said it's how far you want to take it she said give him a blood test give him an x-ray or we can do the inevitable well I thought oh, I wasn't expecting that he was 15 and a half <clears throat> so why I wasn't expecting it I don't know and so we said well can't we give him a blush because she said how far do you want to take it if you give him an x-ray you know and we find something what do you want to do then do you you know at his age do you really want to mess him about and I'll be honest I've said it all his life I, I will never mess him about because he's been loyal to to us you know he really has and it he was such a well-mannered dog, Re really, you know, my friend across the road, she said, you know, Alfie should have had um, a cane and a monocle um, because he was a gentleman, he really was. And, you know, if, if he wouldn't rush past you or anything like that, he would wait for you to go. You know, even when he was desperate for a wee, <laughs> he wouldn't knock you out of the way to, to get out, you know, he would let you go first and he would wait, you know, he would wait for you. He was, he was, he was just a lovely dog. Um, he didn't like his, his um, photograph being taken though, but we, you know, we have got plenty, thankfully. Um, and I said, I, like I say, I, I'd said all his life, I'm not messing him about, you know, because that's not fair. He's been loyal to us and we have to be loyal to him. And we didn't expect it to be, you know, I don't know why we didn't because of his age, but we didn't expect it. So anyway, we I brought him home and nobody wanted to know. Everyone was in denial. He'll be all right. And then I, I'm trying not to get upset. I was talking to him. He was deficit post, but I, you know we all spoke to him. Um, <clears throat> and I was talking to him, and you know I just broke down crying. And my daughter texted me, and she said, "Is he all right?" And I said, "Can you come down?" So she come down and I had a lengthy conversation because she, you know, the night before she'd come in and she was like, I, I, I don't want to talk about it. It'll be, it'll be fine. And I said, it's cruel, you know, he, because that, at that point, that morning, he didn't even want the puppy snacks that we'd been giving him, you know, which are those Webox little tubes of, they're just little tubes. I think the one that he had was cheese and ham, which the day before he'd wolfed it down. So each day was getting worse and I said it's cruel and although the vet said he wasn't in pain you know he was crying when he couldn't eat his food because he was clearly hungry he had that appetite he wanted it initially and then he'd have to turn away so we me and my daughter because he was mine and my daughter's um dog we were the ones that chose him because we rescued him at 10 weeks from a dog's home a local dog's um, home and yeah so he was a little rescue dog he was a puppy at te 10 weeks and um so we made the decision and said it had to be that day because there, had, there was a long 
weekend, bank holiday weekend, and it wasn't fair because by the time we got to, you know, otherwise it'd be an emergency job uh, with the vet. So um, we we always said that when it came to it, we would take him to the beach, you know, and get him his ice cream because he's been on every beach in Wales, I'll be honest. Maybe not every, but every almost every beach in North Wales anyway. And um, an ice cream at every one. And we always said we'd take him to the beach and we we couldn't we couldn't take it wasn't possible to take him to the beach you know and he was booked in for later that day so we took him on his on the field um where he's had many do you know and he even up until you know it was his last day and he still wanted to run with my daughter um only a little bit but he still wanted to run he'd have walked with us forever that dog he really would <clears throat> excuse me and you know we've got lovely photos of him in the in the bluebells and um off the field and then we fetched him home and we gave him ice cream and he ate as much as he could of the ice cream and what do you know when we got him in the vets um the vet was giving him gravy bones and he <laughs> to goodness he must have eaten half a jar of these gravy bones and we were like so then you're like oh are we making a mistake and we wanted a second opinion anyway and as as luck would have it it was dave our usual vet and so we asked we and i don't think they're supposed to say really they leave it to you but he said i don't think this is wrong and we'd taken half his bed and we thought, right, you know, so we put his bed up on the table with his blanket, his favourite blanket. And and there you go. You know, you know what happens next. Um, and he's back home with us now in a different form, albeit, you know, um, we've got his ashes and there's bluebells on his scatter tube because we're going to take him to Wales. We're going to take him to North Wales and we're going to scatter him on the beach and we're all going to have an ice cream. Um, but we miss him terribly. We really do. <laughs> we really do. It's like, um, we're trying to reconfigure spaces and, and that's why I want the coffee table up from the petal shed because, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I seem to have adopted, adopted a little bit of Larry, laryngitis. Um, we want to get the coffee table back up but not to put it on the rug this time we're going to put it in the bay window because that's where Alfie slept um that's where his bed was and so we want to fill that space and it's not to forget Alf it's just because we're forgetting that he's not there you know and we're going to speak to him you know every one of us apart from his son would say to to Alfie what do you think Alf <laughs> even when he was deaf and of course he never answered us but that's we it was a burning question in our house every day <laughs> you know we asked him what he thought what do you think Alf and um we still go to say it now you know what I have found though is that we are all talking to each other a little bit more because we haven't got Alfie you know <clears throat> and um yeah he was a lovely dog really was so that's that's it folks um for this one i like i say i've got another couple of hauls i've got a sheen haul sheen try on haul coming up i'm just waiting for another couple of bits um yeah they're on the way because one you know i don't know why they do that they split parcels don't they you know one parcel has been delivered and another parcel is on is en route i'm hoping it comes today actually um, I did have more than that to show you, but I've been away and th these things didn't fit me. And I still wanted to show you because I wanted to say size up on this, you know, or size down on that. Um, and I sent something like 11 items back. Um, but I had to send them because you've only got a 45 day period. And I wasn't sure after Alfie how long I, I you know, I'd be away. So... Um, but I've want, wanted to come back on. I've wanted to get back into it. And um, it has been lovely to see you. And it's been good to sit here as well. But and now I've, now I've, you know, now I've got, got the, the, um, 
the initial thing of of speaking to you, you know, now I'll I'll feel a lot better each time I come on camera. So thank you so much for joining me. And if you didn't made it to the end, then thank you for listening to, you know, a little bit of history about our Alf. Because I think all you ever saw or heard really was him in the background or his tippy tappy toe tapping on the laminate flooring or having a drink, wasn't he? Um, and thank you all so much for your lovely, lovely messages. Um, I really do appreciate that on Instagram and, and on um, um, the community tab. So do take care. I'll be back very, very soon. Um, do take care and I will see you then. Take care. Bye.